what's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. So good to have you, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be targeting sheep's head. I went out this morning and got a couple dozen mud crabs. We were fishing for a trout this morning and not a single bite on the trout, but it was low tide and I was able to get these uh, these mud crabs. So we're gonna be targeting sheep's head. We just pulled up to the first spot. I'm already seeing a few really nice ones here. I'm surprised they're still here. Usually, usually they move around. We're gonna try the first spot real quick and see if we can get on some really nice size sheep's head. It's been a while since I uploaded a new video. So hopefully we can get some together today. Wow, look at the sheep's head. I'm seeing like flashes, guys. Look at those snook right there. Really nice size snook. All right, let's send our first bait down there. Here we go. It's gonna go from the belly and out to its side, like that. Fishing with mud crab. Here we go. Should be good, man. We should be able to get some nice uh, sheep's head, hopefully. Wow, really nice size sheep's head, guys like solid ones hopefully they're chewing man they are down there guys but they are not biting like i'm seeing really nice size ones man oh come on there it is okay this guy is small the ones I'm, the ones i'm seeing are like probably 15 16 inches at least 14 inches but this guy this little guy here decided to take it first not bad first one of the day man it's been a while since i uh since i caught a sheep's head feeling good all right let's put this guy back in the water there are so many of them right gosh plenty of sheep's head down here man getting them to bite that's the uh it's always the challenge. Wow, took it. Very, very subtle. They are not aggressive at all this morning. All right, here we go. Just free lining today, guys. No weights or anything. Just straight hook, leader, and uh, line. They are not aggressive, man. They are stealing my bait. Okay. There's a decent one there on half of a crab. Not bad. He looks like he's a keeper, but he, we're not going to keep him. He's probably right on 12. Yeah, we'll let this guy go, man. As soon as I cut that uh, mud crab in half, I was getting bites. And I caught that last one on on cut um, mud crab. Here we go. We're just gonna send that down there, see if we can't get a bigger one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. That was a at least a 14 incher right there. Lost him right at my feet <laughs> just cut another one in half here we go that makes sense i mean gets the scent going out there in the water let's drop it straight down right here oh yeah it's a decent one right there boys it's a keeper let's go on the cut crab Half, uh, half of a mud crab. Let's see if we can uh, get a few more here. Hopefully they're still, hopefully, hopefully they're still chewing. There we go, sending another half a crab, half of a mud crab down there. Gets picked up soon here. Oh, run, 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 run. Yeah, good one, good one. Another good one. Keep it. He's a 
He's not as big as the other one though, but uh, uh, he might be about the same size. This guy's a little bit darker. Solid, man. Right here at the ramp. Don't we gotta take the boat out? None of that. Just pull up at the boat ramp. <laughs> Catch him. I think he's probably 13 inches. Good deal. That's all we're using right there. Cut mud crab. Not even a huge chunk. Just a small, small piece. Another good one right here. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Might be a 12 and a half, 13 inches right there. They just started uh, feeding. All right, we have to get this guy released. We need to get my pliers. <laughs> Be right back. We are back and let's try a whole crab now. Let's see, uh, let's see if they'll take it. Maybe they, they started uh, chewing. I don't know, we'll find out. If anything, we'll just, we'll just cut it if we, if we don't get a bite within like 10 minutes. But here we go, full crab, whole crab going down. I've been getting them on uh, half a crab, but uh, Let's see if they'll take a full one. It's dropping straight down. Ideally, right next to the uh, the piling. That's when I usually get the bites. Usually, I feel a bite already by this time, but uh, no bites yet. We might have to cut it in half just to get the scent out there. Nope, no bites. Yeah, let's, uh, let's cut it in half now. It's good to have a pocket knife. Never know when you're gonna need it. Got the crab in half. Now let's see. Same spot. Sometimes it makes a difference. Little things like that. Oh my gosh, came off. That was on a cut crab. <laughs> All right, let's put another bait down there. Getting nibbles already. Here we go. Pretty decent. Feels like he's stuck pretty good. another cheaper right there oh yeah good one probably 12 and a half 13 inches there there good deal another good one there oh yeah that's a better one there guys look at him pretty decent man heck yeah the bite literally just started uh, going off another one a decent one there we will let this guy go like gonna use up all the all the crabs here and uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll go to a different spot maybe not all right let's put him back in the water see ya there it is good one that's a good one boys oh yeah I saw him eat it too, man. It's a stud. Oh, he's, he's all right. Good one, here. Oh yeah. Man, that's a solid one there. <laughs> yes, sir. We're gonna let this guy go though. Like I said, we got plenty. We got like five in the box already. We're gonna let this guy go. So you guys can come out here and catch him. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I close out this video, I just want to show you guys the tackle and the gear uh, we use in this video. Let's go over the rod and reel combo. Um, this rod here is actually a Shimano Zodias, seven foot medium light. I also have the seven foot medium heavy. 
I actually like the medium light better. Um, I feel like it has a little bit more action, a little bit lighter than the medium heavy. Still has pretty good amount of uh, backbone to stop your, you know, your sheep's head, pompano, inshore fish in wide open water. You should be fine with this outfit. Paired up with the 3000 Shimano Accents, 10 pound power pro, and we are running 20 pound Yuzuri floor carbon leader. For the hooks, those are the hooks. Owner Gorilla Light, size one out. Hope you guys like it. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.